going my way. What is it with spiders and my apartment? It's getting closer. It's like this big, but go away. <laughs> hey everyone. Today I want to film the good human tag and this was created by Jen Campbell and I was tagged by Charlie Reeds. If you don't know Charlie, you should check out her channel and especially this video for the good human tag thing because she reads really tough books that I would not touch, but they are really important and have interesting topics. So I recommend you check out her channel and her tag video. When I thought about my books, the ones that I would like to show and share with you that made me a good human, I had a big problem because I tend to think that everything I read somehow influences me and teaches me about something. And you know that I read a lot of literary fiction and adult fiction. What I really like in books is when I read about people and they have some issues and problems and they struggle with that and how they overcome the problems and the issue. Basically, I think reading about other people's struggles in life, that already makes me a better person. And I don't really know where to draw the line and what to pick there. Spider distracting me. So I basically want to mention two authors that really had an impact or make an impact on how to be a good person, I think. The first person I want to talk about is Mitch Albom and not one of his books, but all of his books because he has a certain way of looking at life and how to be in life and how to behave and how things change that really makes you think about your own life. It's coming closer. Especially Tuesdays with Mike, it's where he talks Especially Tuesdays with Murray, where he meets weekly with uh, Murray, his old rabbi, and they talk about life and how to live and how to have a happy life. And it's very interesting and teaches you a lot. What I have to say is that I read this first in my early 20s and I didn't really get a connection to it that much because I was in the middle of university and I was not really working hard and didn't have any stress and everything was good. But when I read it again four or five years ago, I could connect to a lot more things differently because I had had a lot of more life experience there and my own struggles to compete with. So I could connect to this book much more after I had a lot of problems myself. Another book that teaches you a lot on how to live better is The Timekeeper, which talks all about time and how we handle time, how we deal with time and the connection we have to time and what we do with our time. And I really enjoyed this and it made me look at things a little bit differently again. The other also I want to mention might not be such a big surprise for you as I've mentioned his impact on my life before and that is Sir Terry Pratchett and especially the Discworld novels. You know that I grew up with the Discworld novels and I know it is a fantasy series, not about Earth, not about human interaction and anything, but what the Discworld novel does perfectly is mirror our own world and look at it with like some satire, some criticism, some humor. And I think I learned a lot about how to look at our world and how to look at life from the Discworld series that I might not have learned anywhere else. And I do think that it makes life for me and makes me a better person because I'm not as serious as I might have turned out otherwise because of that. And I am a little bit more critical and doubting and also more accepting of other things. And I do think that made me a better person. Spider ages. Those are the two authors that basically made me a better person, apart from all the other books together. I think a combination of a lot of different books makes one a better person. Reading in general makes one a better person because you're interested in other people and other people's stories and you can learn from other people and maybe not make and repeat their mistakes and remember the next time you have a problem like, oh, I remember that person did that in this book. So maybe I should take a step back and do it differently. But in general, Mitch album I can recommend to anyone and you know I keep trying to get you to read the Discworld novels anyways. I don't really know who has done this tag already or who has been tagged so I think if you want to do this tag and share the books that you think made you a better person just do the tag. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.